Ursula Franklin, a physicist, educator, and social activist, was born in Munich, Germany in 1921. The only child of an art historian and an ethnographer, Ursula's parents tried to send her to school in Britain because of Nazi persecution of Jewish people. But the British would not issue a student visa to anyone under the age of 18. Ursula went on to study chemistry and physics at Berlin University until she was expelled by the Nazis. Her parents were interned in concentration camps, while Ursula was sent to a forced labor camp and repaired bombed buildings where she stayed for 18 months. The family survived the Holocaust and were reunited in Berlin after the war. Speaking on that time in later years, Ursula said, Both my parents and I were in different camps, and we survived partly by luck, partly by the kindness of people. In 1948, Ursula received her Ph.D. in experimental physics at the Technical University of Berlin. She began to look for opportunities to leave Germany after realizing there was no place there for someone fundamentally opposed to militarism and oppression. In 1949, Ursula moved to Canada after being offered a postdoctoral fellowship at the University of Toronto. In the early 1960s, Ursula was one of a number of scientists who participated in the Baby Tooth Survey, a project which investigated levels of strontium-90 in children's teeth. In the midst of the Cold War arms race, her work helped convince governments to abandon atmospheric nuclear tests. 135 countries signed the Partial Test Ban Treaty of 1963, which bans nuclear detonations underwater, in the atmosphere, and in space. In 1967, she became the first female professor to join the University of Toronto's Department of Metallurgy and Material Sciences. She also began teaching at the university's Institute for the History and Philosophy of Science and Technology. She became a full professor in 1973, and in 1984, she became the first woman named a university professor, the institution's highest honor. Though Ursula retired in 1989, she continued to fight for equality. In 2001, she and three other retired professors launched a class action against University of Toronto, alleging the institution had paid women less than men for decades. The settlement led to approximately 60 retired female faculty members receiving compensation. Ursula's background in materials and their use throughout history shaped her later thinking on technology and the power of tools in shaping human cultures. She shared her views on the ways that technology and society mutually shape each other in her book, The Real World of Technology. She published more than a hundred scientific papers and contributions to books on the structure and properties of metals and alloys, as well as on the history and social effects of technology. Her work has received worldwide recognition and brought her many honors, one of which is the Ursula Franklin Academy, a high school in Toronto named in her honor and based on innovative principles, including community service, inquiry, interdisciplinary knowledge, and active living. She is also the recipient of the Pearson Peace Medal.